All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the Chieftain Mark VI. This is, of course, a British Tier 10 heavy tank, which is one of the only premium tanks at Tier 10. I mean, this tank is perfect if you like Tier 10, for example, like me, and you don't want to sort of play the lower tiers like Tier 7 or 8, simply because... Those tiers are way too out of balance and they have way too many tanks coming in all the time. And I mean, it's just sometimes weird to play tier eight for me. So I only like to sticking, I only stick to tier 10, sorry. And therefore the chieftain is perfect for farming in this case because you can actually farm very well. And this is one of the main points of the chieftain because you do have a credit coefficient of 140% while the standard is going to be around plus minus 80 for tier 10 tanks. So you're going to be making a little bit of extra credits while playing tier 10, which is very, very good. But when it comes to the actual tank, can you play it? Is it playable? Should you get it? Now, the DPM is 3,166, which is very good for a heavy tank. On top of that, this tank has some decent amount of uh, HE penetration. Not decent, it's actually fairly good at 110. So it's basically a Hess shell and you can uh, shoot medium to light uh, lightly armored targets with it and it's not going to be that bad you will be able to penetrate a lot of tanks into the side or rear with HE very very easily even frontally on a lot of a weaker looking tanks now apart from the HE what does this tank have as I said it has a very good DPM so the reload time is 7.58 which is better than a lot of tier 10 heavy tanks and this tank got AP shells instead of APCR, making it easier to penetrate other heavies in its tier, which is, of course, something very, very good. The weapon handling is also superb. The aim time is very good. One of the best heavy tanks out there for it with a great dispersion slash accuracy number on it as well. So overall, the gun on this thing is superb. You have AP shells, you have HE shells that pen everything. And on top of that, of course, um, you do get a very good weapon handling numbers on there. <clears throat> now, what are the disadvantages? Well, that would definitely be the um, gold penetration of the APCR because that is only 310, which is not really enough to penetrate a lot of other tanks on the tier. Um, for example, the frontal armor of the E100 on the turret is going to be quite hard to pen. The Yag E100 is also going to be quite hard to pen. So it really depends on your target, but sometimes you will struggle with the penetration values. When it comes to the mobility, this tank is also pretty decent. 42 kilometers forward, very, very standard at tier 10. A lot of tanks have this like the IS-4. And of course, the power to weight ratio is 13.73. So think about it, but the IS-4 is faster than this tank. But that's not too bad because we do have 10 degrees of gun depression with a pretty decently armored turret, which is going to allow us to block a lot of shots, especially against medium lights and heavies. Of course, TDs will not have that much problem penetrating our turret because it's not as strong as something like the Kron. But this tank still allows you to get to a certain position at the start of the map. Uh, and then use your 10 degrees of gun depression to smack the enemy up. Overall, I would definitely recommend this tank to everyone because it's a very, very good tank and you can make credits with it. But uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And with that, happy is out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.